Hi, YouTubers. How are you today? Today, I hope everyone is well. I am making a mancati recipe today done my way. If you make it my way, you're going to love it. It's absolutely tasty and delicious. This is what you'll need. You'll need some manicotti noodles. It's about 14 in the box, so if you have a large family you're feeding, you may have to buy two. I have some string cheese mozzarella. I have some prego tomato and onion and garlic. I have onion powder, garlic powder, and oregano I'm going to put in there. And I have some Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese. Now, what you're not going to see is me oil my pan down. I'm going to do that off of my video. I'm going to oil it down with either olive oil or butter, and I'm going to come back and let you see. So let's season up our hamburger meat so we can get this on the way. All right, I already um, grinded up my hamburger, and I'm just going in with a little salt, guys, for my noodles, my biscotti noodles. And this is how they come. They come in a tray like this. I'm just going to drop them in. They're pretty large. Okay. Now, you're supposed to cook these according to the box. They want you to cook them for nine minutes. So I'm going to do four minutes on these, bring them out, let them cool off, and I'll be right back. All right? Guys, I'm going to get a wooden spoon real quick so you don't hear this silver up against All right? The We're just going to go in with a little salt, not much. And I'm going to go in with an onion that I chopped up. Okay. Okay. And then you want to just, as some people are getting bored with, but you got to have it in Rama Ray Ray Soul. Onion powder, garlic powder. We want all of that in there. And I'm going in with some oregano. Okay. Let's put the garlic in. We put our oregano in. I'll give you guys some measurements for this. And you want to cook all of this in. Okay? Let all of this cook for about two minutes. And saute that ground beef. This is 80-20 that I had cooked ahead of time. So we didn't have to wait for the video. Okay? And I am going to use the sauce in my ground beef. All right, guys, I came back. This is four minutes of boiling it in the water, the salty water. Make sure they're salty. Put some cold water to stop the cooking because we're putting this in the oven and we're gonna let it cook for about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes on 375. So these are all ready to go so we can rock and roll now. What we wanna do is finish up our ground beef. And I'm going in with the heaping tablespoon of garlic. Minced garlic, okay? We use fresh garlic, minced garlic, whichever one you want. This is gonna be the sauce for our my, not skull, noodles, okay? Now, I'm gonna just take some of my sauce. I'm using the traditional, and I'm gonna put like a half Well, I'll just use this jar up. We'll use this whole 12 ounces up, 24 ounces up, and we'll sauce our meat. I have almost like a pound and a half of ground beef right here, okay? So I'm just gonna stir this up, mix this up real well, and we'll go to the next step, okay? This is an awesome pasta dish that everyone will love. Not just the children, the adults also. And you can also use this as a side dish or full meal. Okay, so I'll be back after about 10 minutes, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. What you want to do next is after these cool off, you want them to cool off. I let them boil for four minutes. You want to take your mozzarella cheese sticks and you want to stick them right inside, just like that. Okay, I did most of them off camera. Okay, that's what they should be looking like. Now, your next step after that is this. Your sauce is ready. Doesn't that look amazing? And that Italian seasoning or that oregano that you put in there, 
It's gonna take that sauce to another level, okay? So let's get our dish. Bring this to the bag. All right, guys, I oiled this down with um, olive oil. I didn't use the butter, I used the olive oil. You wanna put a coating of your sauce down, marinade sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever you're gonna use, because you can use both of them. And then what you wanna do is stick them in to your dish. Remember, these only come in a count of 14. I just wanna continue to put your noodles in, your pasta in, okay? I'm trying to get, see, I'm gonna end up feeding a lot of people today. So I may have to make a couple of these today, but we wanna to try to get them in there like this if we can, side by side. So you kind of want to fit them in. So you're going to fit them in the best way you can if you're making a large one. Okay? So that you want it looking like that. Let's see if I can get one more in here. Okay, we got it in. Then next, what you want to do is take the rest of your leftover sauce. And you want to sauce this up. Okay. So you're layering it up. And you're putting your sauce on. Okay. Kind of push your noodles down into that bottom sauce that we got at the bottom, like that. And then you want to go in with your ground beef, just like this. Put it on top of the noodles, the pasta. I'm calling it noodles, guys. I apologize. You want to put it on top of your pasta. See, I have enough here. Make sure everybody get enough love on their noodles on their pasta. Okay. All righty. Now that's how you should be looking, just like that. But don't forget those edges. So you can get that meat sauce on those, on the um, pasta guys. Okay. And work your way down to smooth it out just like this it looks amazing and it smells delicious now if you want to put some basil fresh basil oregano or anything on it go right ahead okay you got it like that now i'm gonna go in with my nice cheese guys y'all see this i'm going in with this I can get the bag open. And you can use the fresh also on this. So what you want to do is just put it right across your meat. So this is a six ounce bag and it looks like I'm going to be using half of it. But remember this is a large one. Doesn't that look delicious, guys? All right. All right, guys. After your Parmesan cheese, I'm just going to put a little bit of mozzarella across the top of it. It's good and cheesy. You, didn't ha you don't have to use meat on this recipe. You can use spinach, ricotta cheese, any cheese you like, you can use. Okay. Now, after she's looking like this, I'm going to get me some parsley or oregano flakes and I'm going to put on here and I'm going to put some butter across the top. 
so that it'll melt in and be delicious. I'll be right back. Right, guys, I'm just gonna just like shave little pieces off and put it across the cheese. Moscow. This is like a nice little dump or a casserole that's really quick. So you just need a little bit. Okay. So I have to just put it, it spread. I'm using this vegan butter that my son got. I think it's health balance or something it's called. Okay. Then you want to get you some Italian seasoning and sprinkle it across the top of your casserole, okay? Put this in the oven for 35, 40 minutes. Let it bake, and we're gonna come back. See my little side one over there, guys? I made one on the side for one of my friends. Okay, all right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And I have to say something. This is the second one I made. The first one is out the door already. Okay? So we're just gonna sprinkle a little parsley on here. Same recipe, same thing. So if there's Kobe Jack on the top of this one, the other one had Parmesan and mozzarella where my cheese is. And like I said, you could use the cheese of your choice that you want. Any cheese you want, you can use ricotta, any of it. But guys, I'm gonna let that cool off and try to get you a really good thumbnail, all right? If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment. And I'm working on 20K, guys. So tell everyone about me, your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, aunties, cousins, in-laws, all of them. I would truly appreciate that. All right, guys, everyone have an awesome day. Voila! Bye-bye. I had to come back because I need to tell you, only let it cook for about 15, 20 minutes on 375. That's all you need, and it's going to be awesome. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.